My name is Brandon. I go to Towson University and my page name is btn.flick. I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as a brand. It's just a place where I really dump a lot of my pictures at. So anything that I take, um, even some throwaways, I'll put it on that Instagram page just to show people what my work is or show uh, necessarily like a portfolio, if you can call it that. Um, I basically began taking pictures in the end of high school. So as a senior, me and my friend, we shared one camera. We would go around capturing sports events. Um, just the moments of senior year, first day, last day, spirit week, things like that, just so that we have the moments to cherish. And that's probably what I use the camera most for. I just like to capture moments. Um, my inspiration comes from the fact that I just like seeing a lot of things that are aesthetically pleasing. So if I can get a car and I can capture the curves of the car, or I have a person in an environment that looks really aesthetically pleasing, that's something that I want to capture. What's the deal? Uh, I'm Dwight. I'm a music artist and songwriter out of Linwood in Compton, California. Uh, I'm also a recent graduate of the oh, so prestigious Morehouse College in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just hop right into it. I've been doing music for as long as I can remember. Um, I wrote my first song before I was 10. And um, as a toddler, I would mumble melodies around the house until my family got annoyed. So i been doing music for a minute. Um, high school, I freestyled a lot around campus. I kind of like did rap ciphers, like, you know, the typical uh, typical freestyle session, if you will. Um, you feel me? Then from there, maybe like junior year, senior year, I started really like working on releasing original music. I was constantly writing. I've been writing for years at that point. But I started, uh, yeah, I started releasing music um, around junior, senior year. Um, all through my experience at Morehouse, I dropped music and did talent shows and performed around campus trying to, you know, just build a name for myself. Um, what inspires me, I would say my family and impact slash legacy. And what I mean by that is just kind of like um, the memory of me. What can I leave behind? Who can I influence? Who can I inspire? Especially the youth. Shout out to the youth. Want to let everyone know, but especially the kids know, just follow your dreams. Like it's, it's a road, it's a journey. It's a bumpy road at that, but it's worth it in the end. Just if you stay, if you just stay persistent, um, determined, work hard, understand you gonna have some good days, you gonna have some bad days, but all you gotta do is just keep going. Um, yeah, as far as for me personally, I got a lot of stuff in the works. Um, songwriting, I got some songs with some pretty big artists coming out soon, excited for that. Uh, music I'm dropping constantly. I'm going to be dropping all year. So, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, yeah. Uh, socials at The Real Dwight on everywhere. So that's at The Real D-W-Y-T-T. Y'all tap in with me, man. Hey, everyone. My name is Ajax Ravenel. I'm a freelance photographer, a business owner, and an undergraduate student at Clark Atlanta University. I first started doing photography when I was a child and I made it my profession a couple of years ago. I do concerts, events, portraits, and a lot more. I launched my company, Dress Black, in 2018, and we focus on using clothing to start important dialogue around social justice issues impacting black and brown communities. Our most popular item right now is our Humane Human t-shirts and we are using those to encourage people to label themselves as a humane human and really think about what it means to act humanely. Um, and we are really excited moving forward <laughs> because we're going to start working with companies that are just starting, black and brown owned companies. Um, that are just starting and help them get a step in the business world. We're helping use our platform to give them a place to grow from. So hopefully they will only be working with us for a short time so that they can move forward and do their own thing when they're ready. So I really hope that you guys check us out and stay in touch and yeah, thank you.
Hi, my name is Lakai Rivers, and I go to, well, I used to go to Jones Junior Community College. My brand is Holistic Goddess, and um, I started of April 2020 this year, and what inspired me is to create a business line for black women of color. I was really excited to get to do this interview, so I'm going to answer some questions. Um, my name is Hira Soul, G-I-R-A-S-O-U-L, and my real name is Tia Lynette. I was raised in New Mexico, born in Kansas, um, then I moved to Atlanta to go to college, went to Spelman College, graduated class of 2019, and... I'm now a full-time Spanish teacher, but I do still create on the side. My artistic avenues are mainly music. I sing and I play guitar, still learning. And otherwise I paint and I make custom jewelry. Um, the name Hero Soul, it is kind of like a double entendre. It, it comes from the Spanish word for sunflower which is Hirasol, Hirasol, right? And um, because my name was hyphenated and I spent so much of my life trying to simplify my name, I realized that I should just keep the space. So it's Hira space soul. And of course, since I do soul music, um, I changed the S-O-L of the Spanish word to S-O-U-L. So it is Hira space soul. Why do I make music? Uh, I've always made music since I can remember. Um, but more specifically, I guess it started when I was maybe six or seven and I got my first solo in my church choir. Uh, I remember that. It was he's, he's Able. That was the song. And uh, since since then, I just, I haven't stopped singing, really. Um, I've sung in, I grew up in the church, so of course, choir was the main thing, praise team, all those things. And then when I got to Spelman, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in Atlanta, there's all these other singers. I couldn't find my own voice. I really wasn't confident in that. And then by the time I graduated, of course, Spelman had reshaped me into the person I wanted to be. And so... I started taking music more seriously. I realized who was I not to dream big and follow that dream. That dream being to make music for the world. More specifically for black people, but for the world. I just wanted to be a voice amongst the thousands that, you know, use their platform to discuss things that I wouldn't use my platform for. I believe in justice. I believe in peace. I believe in love. I believe in being yourself. And myself is fun, optimistic, um, caring. Myself is confident and adventurous, spontaneous, and curious. That's myself. And so that's what I try to give people through my music in hopes that, you know, by shining my own light, that other people realize they can shine theirs just as brightly. Um, so that's what inspires me. That's how I started singing. That's why I'll continue um, to make music. Do I have any plugs to give? I mean, I'm working on stuff now, but you never know how things change. So I guess I won't dive into that too much but um yeah it's me here soul